everybody welcome back to my channel this is Cheryl with I style design and this week's Pinterest inspired DIY trash to treasure is a Mad Hatter's hat and this hat is inspired by secondhand Tracy Ann's Mad Hatter tea party so I wanted to create my own Mad Hatter hat to use on my Mad Hatter tea party tablescape so, if you want to see how I made my Mad Hatter's hat, keep watching. I was inspired by an image I saw on Pinterest where this lady had used a lampshade to make her Mad Hatter's hat. And I will insert an image here. I was Goodwill and I was looking for some velvet, velvet fabric and a lampshade and I lucked out. I found the cutest little lampshade and it was three dollars and this great purple velvet fabric it was actually a curtain panel it was a two panel curtain and I was in luck because a panel cost two dollars and fifty cents so I got two panels for two dollars and fifty cents and then I found the green um, the light green panel curtain also for two fifty and I felt I could put those together to make the perfect Mad Hatter's hat. Because, of course, you know, the Mad Hatter is crazy, so why not have some crazy colors? So I took some cardboard that I had laying around, and I used a plate and outlined the circle to use as the brim of my hat. I also used the cardboard and traced around the base of the lampshade um, to make the top of my hat. And here what you're seeing is I am using some hot glue and I'm putting it around the base of the lampshade and I'm going to set the cardboard on top to start forming my hat. Now, what I didn't do was take my time so the top of the hat is a little off center. So of course I have to take that off and start over so if you are going to recreate this Mad Hatter DIY, be a little more careful than I was when you're laying the top of the hat on your lampshade base. So I have to add some more hot glue and reattach the top of my hat. And I will go ahead and do that now. And then I will let you watch the rest of the video. Um, you will see as I come to certain parts of putting the hat together, I will jump in and interject and show you how I put certain things together at different parts of the video. So keep watching.
Okay, so our hat is now finished and I think it is looking really well. I love the little tails in the back and I wanted to create some accessories to go along with my hat. And I like glam and bling, so I decided to make some DIY hat pins out of some old jewelry that I had and some metal wire. So here you will see me cutting up a necklace and removing the beads. And I am going to use these beads to make the hat pins for my hat. So I've created my hat pins and I decided I wanted to do a DIY and create the iconic um, hat card that's in the Mad Hatter's hat. So I went on Word and I just wrote up um, in the style 10 slash 6 and I printed that out along with a um, spade playing card and I stained them with a little bit of tea to try to give them an old fashioned look. So here I am going over them with the Mod Podge to seal them. So once that is dry, we'll cut these out and we'll add them to our hat. cards are finished and now I am going to add them to the hat. I think this hat came out better than I expected. Who knew you could take some fabric from the Goodwill along with some cardboard and use a little imagination and turn it into a Mad Hatter's hat. Let me know what you think. I think it came out really well. And make sure you come back to my channel and see the tablescape while I will feature this hat in secondhand Tracy Ann's Mad Hatter tablescape. So if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you become a member of my YouTube family and join me on my YouTube journey. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you had an awesome day. And remember, always strive to be better tomorrow than you were today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.